I want to bring in Senator Tom Cotton, Republican from Arkansas. And let's get started right there, Senator. Um, you know, is this a case of the Biden administration simply copying the homework of the, of the teachers union? Harris, it's good to be on with you. The CDC is a thoroughly politicized agency. Uh, most Americans disregard their advice on things like steaks and hamburgers and beers. Uh, increasingly, mm. they should disregard their advice when it comes to school reopening. Schools need to be open. Schools have been open in Arkansas five days a week in person since last August, and it's been largely fine. That's been the case all across the country as well. We shouldn't have a politicized public health bureaucracy like the CDC answering at the beck and call of the teachers unions. We need kids back in school and back in real school, not sitting in a classroom doing a Zoom session with teachers who are not in the classroom. We need kids in schools with their teachers now. Uh, I want to get to this, and it has to do with the mask wearing, because we're seeing some of that mixed messaging from the president to the United States and him even getting some special treatment. He is the president, they say, more protection than the rest of us who are fully vaccinated. Uh, writer Barry Weiss wrote this. Masks have become a totem in the culture war. There is no virtue being permanently masked. There is no virtue in demanding zero risk. If there were, we would never jump in a swimming pool or get into a car. Get vaccinated and then get used to wearing hard pants, brushing your hair and your teeth, and meeting friends outside of Zoom. Senator Cotton, your reaction. Dr. Fauci says we need to keep wearing masks indefinitely. Dr. Fauci, once again, is wrong. Almost half of all American adults are now vaccinated, Harris. And it's been a couple weeks since all Americans became eligible. So by the end of May, anybody who wants a vaccine will have had a chance to get it and to have it become fully effective. There is zero reason to be wearing masks outdoors. Joe Biden, when he walks from the White House to Mar the Marine One helicopter, should take off his mask and show Americans that it's fine to start getting back to normal. We're increasingly reaching the point, Harris, where people are more worried about getting the vaccine than they are worried about getting an appointment for the vaccine. One way to encourage people to get the vaccine would be to show that once you have it, you can get back to your normal life. You don't have to wear a mask. You don't have to keep social distancing. You can go back to your normal pre-coronavirus way of life. That's what most Americans are hoping for. That's why people who are vaccinated fully should take off the masks and get back to normal. You know, Senator Cotton, it is so simple to hear you say it, and it would be so simple to see, if not the president, his team do it. I mean, they're at these outdoor events looking for his mask, which he took off and he can't find. I'm sure you saw that video and everybody looking has on a mask. I mean, it's it's like you say, way to sell it. Not. OK, we'll move on. As President Biden hits the road this week, Senator, he's trying to build support for his massive spending plans. Hillary Clinton says she's thrilled that President Biden is taking his agenda as far as possible. Let's watch. It wasn't until the pandemic that I think a truly working majority of Americans crossing party lines, as we've seen, because of the approval that Republicans and independent uh, voters are giving Biden, suddenly understood in a clear way that, you know what, there's lots of times when we need the government. This comes 25 years after her husband, President Clinton, famously declared, quote unquote, the era of big government is over. Wow. I, I, I hear more mis mixed messaging, Senator. Yeah, Harris, if Hillary Clinton is uh, praising the Biden administration, that's probably a sign they're doing something wrong. But you know what? There are times when the American people <laughs> need the government. They need the government to protect our borders, to stop illegal aliens from crossing at record numbers. Yet what has Joe Biden done? He's totally opened our borders. He's insisting that his uh, public health agencies get more and more migrants into the country, as opposed to our border security being able to stop them from coming in the first place. Another time that the American people need their governments are to protect them from crime. We just had a huge increase in the murder rate, the highest on record. Yet Joe Biden and Democrats continue to attack the police. His Department of Justice is going on witch hunts against police departments across the country. Local prosecutors are refusing to prosecute violent criminals. Democrats are trying to pass more laws in Congress to let felons out of prison early. Those are a couple times when the American people expect their government to protect them. And that's exactly the opposite of what Joe Biden and the Democrats are doing. 
Uh, Senator, it is great to have you on the program today, and I am very, very glad to, to get to this real quickly. A group of Senate Democrats are calling on the president to shut down the Guantanamo Bay prison. And President Biden's Secretary of State was asked about it. I can't wait to ask you about it. Let's watch first. Will the Biden administration close Guantanamo Bay? We believe that it should be. That's certainly a goal, but it's something that uh, we'll bring some focus to in the months ahead. Senator, I, I know you have served. We know that. We celebrate that service and that sacrifice with you on this program all the time. When you look at what they want to do with Gitmo, what, what comes to mind? Well, I think they might want to treat those Guantanamo Bay terrorists the way they treat illegal migrants coming to our bo country's border. Let them in and probably then let them out. But once they get on wow. American soil, there's no telling what a bunch of liberal lawyers will do in court. Uh, but if those Democratic senators want Guantanamo Bay terrorists in the United States, why don't we put them in their states? Senator, is there an unintended consequence of this that maybe the American people should be aware of that the Biden administration isn't touching on? Yeah, there, there are more legal rights granted to those terrorists once they're on the American mainland soil. And there's no telling what liberal judges will do or what uh, Joe Biden's liberal Department of Justice would allow. The safest place for those terrorists is at Guantanamo Bay. Look, their tribunal should have been completed long, long ago. If it wasn't for liberal judges intervening, they would have been. We also have to be mindful that terrorism is still a threat. And if we have mm -hmm. uh, operations where we ca uh, capture a lot of high-value terrorists in the future, where are we going to put them? Are we going to bring them to the United States? Are we going to send them to some other country? Or they, they might not have the protections that they do have at Guantanamo Bay. Gitmo is a perfectly suitable place where we've invested a lot of taxpayer dollars to detain some of the world's most dangerous terrorists. That's where they should stay, and that's where future detainees should go. And I have read real quickly that, you know, nothing recruits like people inside the greatest country in the world um, having that sort of liberal advocacy on behalf of them as, you know, they can talk, they can prophesize. Yeah, unfortunately, we saw that was the case with the blind shake in the first World Trade Center bombing in 1993, that he mm -hmm. remained uh, an active an active proselytizer uh, and terrorist mastermind from federal prison in the United States. Senator Cotton, great state of Arkansas. Good to see you today. Thank you for your time.